Is there a baby yet? No, not yet. She's only three centimeters dilated and her contractions are about a minute and a half apart. Oh, 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 it's coming back. Ah, ah, breathe, honey, breathe. Ah, ah, ooh, ah, honey, do you oh, want to try those oh, breathing oh, techniques we learned about and- Screw your breathing techniques! Oh, you'd think after you had one child, the second would be easier. Ah, ooh. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. How are you feeling? Uh, like this baby is trying to rip open my stomach while simultaneously kicking my spine. Uh. Okay, well, do you want to try walking around or bouncing on the... Uh, I need an epidural. I'm sorry, Miss Williams, but you need to be at least four centimeters dilated before I can administer one. What? No! Sweetheart, breathe. It's gonna be okay. Shut up! <sighs> Jeez. Was mom like this during my birth? Sort of. But by the time your mother got to the hospital, she was already five centimeters dilated, so she was able to get an epidural sooner. Ow! 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 When will it end? Ah. Soon, baby, soon. And don't forget, we're going to meet our little girl soon. Uh, we haven't even decided on a name we wanted. Uh, ooh. I thought you guys decided at the baby shower. Uh, no, we changed our minds. Really? You seem so set on the name you picked. Okay, everyone, gather round. As you can see, we've compiled and written all the possible names of the baby on this wall. We're going to erase each one one by one until we get to the name we chose. Okay, here we go. Hey, do you know which one won? No. I told them I wanted it to be a surprise. Ah, gotcha. Did you leave a baby name suggestion? Oh, yeah. Olivia. Oh, that's a cute name. Yeah, I love that name. Did you leave one? Actually, I just wrote Tiffany's suggestion. Faith? Yeah, I liked it so much, I couldn't think of my own. Oh, well, that's a perfect name. I know. I hope it wins. Oh my dog, that was my pick. Yes, we loved your pick, especially because it honors mom. Their mom? My grandma. Her middle name was Christine, so I guess my uncle wrote that name down to honor her. Well, that's really sweet. Yeah, are you all right, Hope? I just feel like I'm betraying Tiffany by not naming my little sister after her name. You're not betraying her. Ultimately, it's your parents' decision. I just really liked the name Faith, but hey, Maybe the baby could pop out and your mom suddenly realizes she doesn't look like a Christine. Yeah, I doubt that. It's perfect. So, you don't like the name Christine anymore? <laughs> no. I mean, I think it's sweet that it honors your grandma, but I just don't feel like this baby is a Christine. Oh. Uh, so what other name were you thinking ah, of? Oh, my dog, it's worse! Ah, ow, you know ow, what? Ah, I think I'll ask her later. Hey, how's your mom doing? You haven't heard the screams from out here? It's that bad? Mm-hmm. She's only three centimeters dilated, so she can't get an epidural yet. Yikes. Sounds like it's gonna be a long night. Eh, probably. So, are you okay? Hmm? I mean, were you able to process everything? I know your dad calling you kind of distracted you. Oh. You mean with Josh? Yeah. I mean, it must have been hard watching him get six months in jail plus community service. Yeah, well, he deserved it. Hope? No. These are tears of joy. Hmm? For the first time, I finally feel like I'm free from Josh. Free? I know I said after Josh tried to kiss Tiffany that I was over him, but honestly, I wasn't. And now that he's literally committed a crime to try and hurt some pet that I had forgiven, 
I've seen his true colors and the lengths he'll go. Now, finally, my love for him is gone. It feels like I've broken the spell. I mean, when he looked at me today in the courtroom, my heart didn't beat like it used to for him. Wow. I now understand what Tiffany meant when she said she wanted to start over. Because I do too. Good. I'm happy for you, Hope. And how about you? How did it feel to watch your ex-boyfriend who abused you for years go behind bars? Honestly, amazing. But at the same time, he hasn't really been on my mind since Johnny came into my life. Oh yeah. How are you two doing? Good. Um... You know... The other day, he, uh, actually asked me if I wanted to move in with him. No way! Yeah, now that Josh is in jail, Johnny's plan to move in with him is kind of foiled. And he didn't want to ask Justin since he assumed Justin was going to want to move in with Hannah. Makes sense. So, are you okay with that? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you know, we had plans to move in together, and I wasn't sure where you stood since Tiffany left, and I didn't want to- You deserve to be with John. I'll be fine in my house. Besides, I want to take care of my baby sister. Hope! Your mother progressed. The doctors think it's almost time to push. Really? That fast? Yes, no time to explain. Come on! Go! Go! How are you feeling, Mom? I'm okay. Nervous, but excited. Okay, Mrs. Williams. I think it's time to start pushing. Okay. You got this, Mom. Push. One, <gasps> two, three, four. Keep pushing. Harder, five, harder. Six. Come on, honey, keep pushing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, Mrs. Williams. Keep going. You gotta keep going. One, two, three. She's almost out. I can four, see her head. Five. You can see the head, six, honey. Seven. Come on, mom. Eight, keep pushing. You got nine, this. Nine. Ten. <laughs> it's so hard. You got this, honey. Keep going. Come on, Mrs. Williams. Keep pushing. Okay. One. Come two, on, honey. One more push. Three, you can do keep it. Keep pushing. Four. Five. One more six, big push. Seven. Eight. She's coming. Nine, She's coming. Ten. <laughs> She's here. She's beautiful. Hi, baby sister. Sorry to interrupt, um, can we come in? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, my dog. She's so little. She's so cute. Hi, baby Christine. Oh, we're actually not going with that name. Oh, uh, then what is her name? Hope. I believe there is a name you had that you really liked. Really? We thought about it, and we actually really like Tiffany's suggestion. <laughs> Everyone, meet Faith Williams. Hi, Hi. Faith. So, Faith, I want to tell you a little story. Eh, it's actually not little, it's very long, but luckily, we've got plenty of time. It's about my first boyfriend, Joshua Perry. He was my best friend. Helped me come out of my shell, give me friends, life experience, and of course, an immense amount of strength to become the big sister you deserve. But he also did a lot of bad things which is why he's not here with me. But I want to give you life lessons. That way you don't make the same mistakes he did. Sometimes, Faith, your life may seem like a hopeless romance, but in reality, there's a lot of light and positivity that can come from it. For example, Josh gave me my best friend Tiffany. She was troubled, did a lot of bad things to me, but... She is how you got your name. And I hope one day you get to meet her. What you doing? Mom, you shouldn't be out of bed. You just gave birth. Ugh, you sound like your father. I'm fine. 
Okay, well, I'm just giving little Faith here her first lesson from her big sister. Good. She'll definitely need that. <laughs> We hope to not see you again, Mr. Perry. You won't, sir. Oh, wait, before you go, a letter arrived for you. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Dear Josh, so you're getting out of jail today. Oh, if you're wondering how I know that, I asked your mom. I hope you're okay, and I hope jail taught you something. <laughs> I want to let you know that I forgive you. <laughs> you know firsthand, I like to give second chances. And even though this is not the second time you've done me wrong, I can't live my life knowing I didn't forgive you. You gave me a lot of amazing things, Josh. You helped me come out of my shell and gave me new friends and experiences I never thought I'd have because of my cancer. But most importantly, you showed me what love is. I'm not saying what you did was right, but I know you did it out of love. However, I cannot reciprocate that love. So I'm asking you to please move on. There will always be a place in my heart for you, Joshua Perry, but not in a romantic way. I think it's best we part ways and live our own lives. After all, there's a famous saying that says, if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it's yours to keep. Good luck with everything. Love, hope. Oh, also, my baby sister was born a few months ago. Her name is Faith. She's currently six months old and super cute. I intend to be the best big sister I can be. So thank you for giving me that strength.